Hello. This is President Trump. Greetings from hell. That is, Delphi, Indiana. My oh my it certainly has been a year 2020. People made sure that they were safe and sound. Living on the literal ass crack of America must be hard. Delphi, Indiana. Give it to Delphi. Being surrounded by great communities like Gary, Kokomo, Lafayette, Tippecanoe. In fact these places must be great places to raise a family. Oh wait, give me a minute to cook my chicken. They've been overrun with criminals and crooks and crooked motherfuckers. Let me take a few minutes to just tell you why they've been overrun and what they've been overrun with. It'll be a doozy of a story. First problem is with methamphetamine addiction. The drug trade is a big problem down here in rural Indiana. No, I don't mean breaking bad here, although it appears that the cartel has worked hard to buy these small town crooks. These are the town cops, their sheriff, the leaders and even some of the judges. Well, at least one of them. What do you think the median retirement age is for them in Delphi? Well, I guess that depends on how old they are in 2020, because this year they're all dropping like flies. The next problem with Delphi are the hillbilly cousins in love children. Yes, yes, and more yes. Isn't it great I really family-oriented place to live and raise their one-eyed monkey like? All of these pigs hang out under bridges or the murder of their girlfriends and are sitting in jail. It's how the cookie crumbles when you live in rural Indiana. Delphi appears to be born from the ass of a clown, holding all the innocents captive in their conspiring lips. But don't worry, the law will catch up with these criminals, won't it? Won't these crooked pricks be caught and found out? Isn't the law investigating them, the sheriff of the town? I can tell you if it's Carroll County. Don't count on it. These guys like to shake up the den. That being said, I have to hide my face not for legal reasons. But because you guys kill people who expose you. This is their slogan. You can't count on Carroll County. This is a message to the murderers. Let me first say murderers, it's time for you to come clean about it. You were there that day at the Freedom Bridge. You watched the girls pull up in a vehicle and get out and walk towards the trail. You followed them from the entrance to the trail, watched them from afar. The one girl's father owed you money and you couldn't get it from him. Am I right? Or am I correct? You red bastard. The girl's father worked for you. They laundered cash through legit businesses. The sheriff in town is no John Wayne though he wishes he was. And there is your crooked judge. He started his own business started having sex with his employer's wife. His business was called Captain Stubby Farms. What an entrepreneur. He got himself a job as the clerk and attorney of the county. Why? Because he didn't need any opposition for what he and the Bridge Brothers had in store. For many years he and a collection of people stood to take land and use taxpayers' money to sell it back to Delphi so the debt would be placed on the city and he would make millions. And the Bridge Brothers had been active trying to repair the bridge for many years. After all, they ended up on Delphi City Council to approve funds to buy the land. A plot of land that you planned on stealing from your patsy. Ron Logan. I wonder how all of that turned out. Did it pay out large for you? 
Did it? You thought you guys could pin Ron with it, didn't you? But he exonerated himself on the murders, didn't he? The only guy who has ever been exonerated has been Ron Logan. Unlike you. Did you think that the world wouldn't find out? Did you, Dan? If you guys solve the case, money will stop flowing into the hands of Delphi. And this is my message to the motherfuckers. They know who you are. Various agencies have changed direction. They are on to you. They know what you old boys did. Every time one of those crooked motherfuckers resigns, it's them doing the work. They know who you are. They know that this was about power with you. You didn't think that the police would change directions, but they did. They saw through your bullshit. They saw through your false leads. Do you want to know what they know? And one day, you will. And they will put you underneath the jail, cartel bitches. I sit here with my popcorn, watching them one by one resign. Resign, resign, resign. What's the matter? Michael Kett got your tongue. Anthony Green O. Is he on the Sino? Maybe Minivan Traveler will come out to get you. He'll travel right into your ass. Or could this all be sold by Randy Kravitz? Or Lance Gray Hughes? What a great guy, a good character. He's so smart too. Waste smarter than I could ever be. Did you guys know that Harvey Carroll saved millions and millions of people, that he's a war hero, that he protects George W. Bush? Or maybe Stuart Sutcliffe, the great guy, the great funny, man who is great and funny, his teeth look great. Let's not forget Bobby Camsworth. Wow. That guy really is the bridge guy. Just remember while you sit there. All will be brought before the openness of the world. We will one day see who did this. Anyways, this concludes our first video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I am Donald Trump and I approve this message.